What's going on, guys? It's Investing Hustler here, and today I have a very special guest. I have Rich TV live right here. So, Rich, why don't you introduce yourself? What's up, guys? How you doing, Investing Hustler, man? Listen, this is your boy, Rich, here on behalf of Rich TV Live. And yes, that is me in the back. I was on Caribbean Life in the Cayman Islands. HGTV, it's true. And uh, yeah, man, we're just here to talk about the markets, man. You know, we're always looking at the markets, and you're always looking at the markets. So let's For talk. Sure. Let's talk markets. Yeah, let's. Why don't you tell your tell the audience about yourself, like how you got started, how long wow. how long ago did you start your YouTube journey, investing, etc. What What do we need to know about you? Well, I've been investing since I was uh, 21. Um, I started by investing in Nortel Networks through a financial advisor, uh, lost all my money, decided at that point in time, I'm not going to use a financial advisor ever again. And I decided trading myself. I started investing in real estate, which I've done very well with real estate. I invested in stocks and recently I've been getting into cryptocurrencies and I started my YouTube channel in December of 2016. So I am almost two years now on YouTube and started talking about cannabis stocks in January of 2017. And I started first talking about cannabis growth, Aurora Cannabis, Afria, Organigram in 2017. Those were four of my first four picks. And yeah. then I talked about the HMMJ ETF. I was the first to talk about that. And I formulated the Fat Five, which... Kind of is legendary because all of them have gone up hundreds, if yep. not thousands of percent. And uh, yeah, the rest is history, man. <laughs> the rest is history. All right. So I have a couple of questions to ask you. So the first question is, what do you think is going on with the market? Any reasons why you think the marijuana sector has been declining since legalization? Yeah, I think that if you look at the charts, you'll see that everything has been a steady climb. And I predicted that there would be a crash and a correction like there was last year. Last year, it happened in January. January 9th, 2018 was the crash. Um, this year, actually, but it was kind of like at the end of last year yep. of the run. So this year, I was predicting it was going to happen around December 25th to January 9th again. So far, it looks as though it's happened early. It looks as yep. though we've had it pretty much the first couple of days before legalization. And then legalization yep. day, we've had an epic crash. We've seen everything decline like 20, 30, 40%. Some things even more. Mm -hmm. So if you look at cannabis growth, you will still see it's up dramatically this year. Yeah. If you look at Aurora Cannabis, it's still up. If you look at Afria, it's still up. They're all up. So what do I believe is going to happen? I think they can go lower. I do. I believe they can go lower, uh, especially the bigger ones. Some of the smaller LPs, like Oxley, for example, like Vivo, um, like the Green Organic Dutchman, um, they're all at 52-week lows pretty much, and they're back to their IPO levels. So I've been buying some of these because I believe they're at the bottom and they can't really go much lower. So I believe they're going to go up, and I believe we're going to have a resurrection here pretty soon. That's my opinion. So, so do you think the smaller caps will go back up and the larger caps might continue to decline or? That's kind of what I'm thinking because if I look at the Green Organic Dutchman, they're at a 52 week low, they're at their IPO level. Who's yeah. going to sell lower than what they got in except for the people that want to panic sell. And the Green Organic Dutchman has $355 million <laughs> in the bank. <coughs> you okay, man? <laughs> I just choked on, on water. It's all good. It's all good. So yeah, so the Green Organic Dutchman has $355 million in the bank. So I mean, to me, follow the money. $355 million in the bank tells me that they got money to go and acquire their growth. So I believe that they're at a bottom and I believe they will go up. But I think some of the higher LPs I'm worried about, companies like Tilray, companies like Canopy Growth, even companies like Aurora, they've all had a big run since August. If you look mm -hmm. at their charts, they've all been up since August. I believe they can decline. I also believe they could go back up. So, you know, it's it's hard to tell. I, I am investing. I, I have been buying huge. I have been buying Alifia Health. I've been buying the Green Organic Dutchman. I've been buying uh, Canopy Rivers. 
and Astralis Capital. So I bought those five this week, and we're going to see what happens. I believe they're going to go up. But and those you know, are all small cap stocks, so yeah, I'm not. I'm not looking to buy Tilray at a hundred dollars. You know, I'm not looking to buy Canopy Growth. I've already bought those. I'm not looking to buy uh, even Aurora. Like I bought Aurora much lower. I sold it yeah. at thirteen. Everybody in my community knows I sold it at thirteen. So yeah. um, right now that looks like a smart move, obviously. So yeah. if it goes back down to five, I'll definitely load up again. So. so, so won't be buying Aurora unless it goes to five. It was at five in August. So yeah, like yeah, I want to see how low five. it goes. I got an appetite to buy things in the red and buy them low. I think it could go lower. Mm -hmm. We'll see. I hope it goes up. I do, but I don't know. I don't know. Like I don't control the markets, guys. You yeah, know? They're, they're so unpredictable. Um, the volatility so yeah. is what I love about them. I love the fact that yeah. there's volatility. That's what makes us rich. But you've got to learn how to buy in the red, sell in the green. Yeah, as long as you're not a bag holder, you can work, use volatility to your favor. So, so moving on to the next question. So usually there's a stock market crash every 10 years. And what do you think um, about this year? Are we overdue for a market crash within the next couple of years? Why or why not? I think it's already happening. It's already happening? This is it? I, yeah, I think it's obvious. I, TSX is at uh, yearly low. Uh, the Dow's back to the yearly low. The S and P five hundred is back to the yearly low. The Nasdaq is back to the yearly low. Like everything's going down. So uh, we've had a huge explosion in the markets. Donald yep. Trump has come into power, and it's been huge for the markets. And ever since he's come into power, since November of last year, and the markets have been exploding. The cannabis markets yep. have been exploding. The tech sector's been exploding. Everything's Dang. been up. So. Yeah, we're 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 in it. We're in it right now. I think it's obvious. I mean, everything is down. Yeah. And how does Rich TV Live prepare prepare for a market crash? Well, when they're crying, I'm buying. So I'm gonna keep buying. You know, like I, for me, I like to buy when things are in a crash. So yeah. for me, these are the opportunities that we wait for. I'm gonna continue to buy, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna be buying real estate if markets crash here in Canada. I'll be buying real estate, and yeah. as long as the markets are high, I will be selling. I won't be buying, I'll be selling. And yeah, and when they're down, I'll be buying. That's what I do. Can't so, lose with that strategy. You can't lose. Yeah, I mean, that's that's just, I've been waiting for this. And uh, even in the housing sector in Canada, it's ridiculous. So yeah, I'm looking to be selling assets right now. And, uh, you know, I believe that there will be a correction. There has to be. So, you know, corrections are cyclical, like you said. And 2007, 2008, well, we're in 2018. So like you said, we're about due. I think it's happening. Happening. So you, you think it could, it could continue to get worse or you think we've seen like the worst of it already? I think it could continue to get worse. All right. That doesn't sound too good, but you heard it here first. <laughs> Rich TV live. I, right, like so I said, I hope it doesn't. Yeah. I don't want it to, but I believe it can because there's a lot of fear right now and we're going into yeah. Christmas People are scared. They're going to pull their money out because they need money for Christmas. I mean, it's just simple, basic, like fundamentals of like investing, you know, like investors, they panic, right? And when you go into Christmas, two things are going to happen. Either you're going to go up or it's going to go down. And right now things are going down. So, you well, know, last trust Christmas, your eyes. Um, last Christmas, uh, all these stocks declined. So we might see the same thing again this year. People but are going to be selling because nice they need money, right? For their holiday presents, right? Yeah, so, exactly. You know? so, so would you recommend people to just hold on to their stocks? Or are we even allowed to recommend that? Because we're not private on. Well, remember, Rich TV Live is strictly for education and entertainment yeah. purposes. We're not licensed advisors. Always do your due diligence. Always do your research before you invest yeah. in anything that we talk about here on Rich TV Live. Now, um, I do not like to sell for an L. Yeah. The only time I'll ever sell for an L is if I really need the money. Mm -hmm. So let's say I have 10 stocks and I need the money and I don't really want to sell for an L, but I have to. I'll sell like 10% of 10 different stocks. That's the way I'll do it. I'll just sell a little bit here, a little bit there if I need the money. I don't like to sell for an L. I'd rather wait, buy low, sell high, be patient. And mm -hmm. buy in the red, sell in the green, because eventually these stocks are very forgiving. And if you look at their history, 
they go down and they go up and they go down and they go up and they go down and they go up and they're very forgiving. So show me a stock, like look at Canopy Growth's chart. I mean, it hasn't gone down over the last two to three years. It's just gone up. Look at Aurora Cannabis's chart over the last two, three years. It's just gone up. Look yep. at Ianthus's chart over the last two to three years. It's just gone up. I mean, there's quite a lot of success stories in this industry. Tilray is another example of that. It has only gone up. Yeah, it's come back down from 300, from 200, but you had to think it was going to come back down. Yeah. Started at 20 bucks. So you got to be, you, when you're investing, you got to think about protecting your money. And I'd rather buy the cheaper LPs because I'm in the long game here because I'm in the industry. We're in the game. We're not just investing in these stocks. We're, we're working with these companies. We're in the CBD game. We're in the hemp game. We're, you know, we're in the cannabis sector. If you want to work with the licensed LP, we got licensed LPs. You can work with the licensed LP. We got licensed LPs that we're working with globally. So, yeah, you know, we're doing, you know, I'm not just in the short game to just day trade these stocks and be done with them. I want to be a part of this game for a long time, for the next 20 years. That's good, man. So speaking of small cap stocks or small caps, you're, um, so speaking of these stocks, uh, what are your top three stocks that you're looking at for the next month, for the month of November? Your top three stocks, whether it's marijuana, tech, or whatever it is. T-God, the Green Organic Dutchman, which I just bought. Saniva, mm -hmm. I haven't bought it yet, but I really want to buy it. It's only got 36 million shares issued in outstanding, which is really tight. They're the yeah. canopy of California, currently trading at $4.80, been as high as 17. I think that's gonna it's gonna explode. I gotta pick up some this week. Uh, T God's got 355 million in the bank. It's around a 52 week low, back to its yeah. IPO levels. I love it. And Canopy mm -hmm. Rivers. It's Canopy yeah. 2.0. Uh, yeah. If you missed out on Canopy the first time, I just bought myself a thousand shares. I see that baby one day going to, you know, 50 bucks. If it goes to 50 bucks, you know, Canopy's got the blueprints. Why can't they do the same thing with Canopy Rivers? If they take that to 50 bucks one day, my $4,000 investment will be worth 50 Gs. I'll do that all day long. I'll Why do that not? all Why day not? long. So uh, you mentioned two other companies uh, besides T-God. What, what were they again? Suniva. Suniva. What's, what's their ticker symbol? And like, can you tell me a bit about those companies, about this company? Yeah, SNNVF. Suniva okay. in America, SNN in Canada. They've only got 36 million shares issued outstanding. They are considered the canopy of California. They're in Canada and in Cali. I just think it's going to explode. So I love it. And I've been watching it. I've already made money on it. It's near the bottom. So yeah, I'm watching Suniva. It's fully on full alert for me. So Suniva, Green Organic Dutchman, and Canopy Rivers, RIV in uh, Canada. I think it's just a beast. And I think it has so much potential. And I love them. So... Yeah, I follow the money, and Canopy Growth has been a huge success. Canopy Rivers will be a huge success. All right. You heard it here first. <laughs> it's true. Um, and T-God, what's their market cap right now? Do you know? I think it's – is, is it still in the billions? Is it still $1 billion or is it below that? It's around there. It's around there because they got about 200 million shares, a, and they're priced at 480 So it's right around a billion. Yeah, right and around you don't think a one billion dollar market cap for for T God's overvalued still, or or do you think that's a that's a good price for T God? They got three hundred fifty five million in the bank, man. That's a lot of money. Yeah, and and mm -hmm. what how'd they get that from sales or or? Well, no, just selling stock. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> right. So no, I invested into T God as well, but uh, right now I'm sitting at a loss. I'm, I'm probably going to start averaging down. As we'll see how low T God goes, but yeah. Yeah, I think um, the T God's a safe bet right now at these prices. I really yeah, do. Sure. I think it's a safe bet right now at these prices. Uh, to me, it's a safe haven. It's a really good company. I think that they're going to do some big things globally. They're uh, they're focused globally, and you know, companies that are focused globally that reminds me of Canopy Growth. It reminds me of Aurora Cannabis, and yeah. T God's been under some selling pressure from Aurora Cannabis. Mm -hmm. I think they're going to be yeah. fine. I think they're going to do very well. Yeah, I think that's the main reason why T God's been declining like crazy, mostly because Aurora decided to back out of their deal. Hey, well, Aurora's smart. They bought they bought the stock in the red and they sold in the green, right? They, they yeah. they're buying when the company was pre IPO and they're selling for a profit. Isn't that what every investor does? 
they're showing their shareholders revenue by exactly. doing that. No, that was definitely a good move for Aurora. So, um, okay. So how about some predictions? Let's do some short term predictions. What do you think is going to happen within the next, next week? We're going to see a green week, a red week. Obviously you don't, no one knows, but what, what's your prediction going to be for next week? And then we'll do some long-term predictions after that. Man, I'm hoping for a green week. It's been, we've been getting brutally like destroyed. So yeah. I'm hoping for a green week, to be honest with you. Um, selfishly, I think it might go down more just because the market's so beaten down. But, yeah. and it's the end of the month. So there's not a lot of good signs there. Um, but, you know, I'm going to be positive guy always. So I'm, I'm going to predict it's going to be green. So if it's green, you're going to be selling. And if it's red, you're going to be buying. Yes. Or not. Yeah. Yes, because I was yeah. buying on Friday in the red. So I will be publicly selling all of those positions if they go green. Absolutely. Absolutely. And if you're selling, you're going to announce that all on your channel. All your viewers will get to see. Yes. That's a good reason to subscribe to Rich TV Live. Yes. I like to try to show people my in and outs, my strategies, mm -hmm. and show them my in and out of trades so they can see exactly how I get in and get out of trades, have no motion, take the money and run. And I think that I've, I've got five good positions on Friday that can all go up. And they were already up on Friday, but only about 3.5%. Um, my Alifia and Huge positions were up about 3.5%. So I was up about $300, $400 for the day. I didn't take it. They finished kind of even. Um, yeah. Then I bought those other three position, positions, Canopy Rivers, Astralis, and T-God. So I think all five are going to be in the green this week. And I think I'll be happy to turn... I think I'll be happy to turn a couple grand off those five investments this week. Yeah, that would be nice. And Looks show people how I did it, right? Yeah. So we'll see. But that, that's kind of my strategy. And then from there, I'm going to be looking to turn some of those profits into Ceneva because I think Ceneva yeah. can easily go to $10. Easily. And what, what are they at right now? What's their stop? I think it was at $4.80 last time I looked. Oh. So you'd be more than doubling your money. That's right. <clears throat> and how about some long-term predictions? 2019, 2010, what do you think is going to happen with the marijuana sector? Mostly Aurora. What do you think will happen with Aurora? People love to hear about Aurora. I think Aurora Cannabis has always been my number one. So I think Aurora is going to just keep growing, keep being the monster that they are. I fully intend uh, to see Aurora consistently grow their revenue, which they have quarter over quarter. So yeah, I fully see Aurora just continuously growing. Um, well, well, I see. It's just, I see. the wild guess. Share, share prices. What do you think they're going to be at? I think they're going to break their 52-week highs. Yeah? Yeah, absolutely. You know, Aurora yeah. goes like this. Yeah. But eventually, it just wait. goes like this. So you'll see it's traded at fifteen dollars this year. It came back down to five. Then it just yeah. recently went back to fifteen. Now we're back to nine. Aurora does that. So if it goes back down to five, load up and watch it go back up to fifteen again. I mean, that's just the game, man. That's why I love this industry. Yeah. The volatility. I love the volatility. You just gotta learn to jump in and learn when to get off. That's it. Because the bank it. holders, they get burned. Why would you hold bags? Look at the <laughs> charts. Look at the charts. Yeah. Well, a lot of people are, are long term for, for the marijuana sector. So I guess that's why they're holding on. Yeah. I mean, look at the charts. The charts say that if you look long term, you will win. Yeah. So why exactly. would you short term trade these stocks if you don't have to? I'm short term trading these stocks because of my show. Yeah. That's the only reason why I'm short term trading. Otherwise, I don't short term trade. I just sit on them. But I'm just doing it for entertainment purposes, straight up. Yeah. Well, yeah, as long as you're making money, it's working. And I can show people how to make money and I can show them how to do it within a few days, right? I don't really day trade, but I'll do it for the platform. I'll do it to educate the public. I'll do it to, to show people how to do it because it's not hard to do it. But, you know, I, um, I would rather not because yeah. I'd rather be chilling on the beach, you know, exactly. Uh, selling, you know, CBDs and hemp products with one of my licensed LPs and talking about stocks and, and, uh, just taking the long-term route because I believe in a lot of these companies long-term. And I believe that with our community and the power of the people, we will find the winners and we'll find them at the bottom 
and we'll be able to sell them at the top and just rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat. Just like I did with Aurora Cannabis. I sold them at $13 and now they're at nine. And I did that publicly. That's good. Well, the best thing also about that is you can do it from anywhere. You could do it from home. You could go on vacation, bring your laptop with you, be day trading and making money anywhere in the world. It's a laptop so, lifestyle, buddy. It's a laptop exactly. lifestyle. Amazing. Um, how, how long has this recording been? We'll, we'll cut this out. How long have we been recording for? Uh, we've been recording for too long. <laughs> yeah, so Let's end it right here. Let's yeah, that's what right I'm here. saying. So if you want, you could end it. Um, maybe let people know how they can contact you. You got an email, you got a YouTube, Instagram. Let them know. Follow me everywhere. Go to www.richtvlive.com. Subscribe. If you're not winning, you're not watching. This is your boy Rich with Investing Hustler. And we're out. Peace. Take it easy. Also, don't forget to follow me, Investing Hustler. I got a YouTube. Um, I got an Instagram. And also, I got a Gmail, investinghustler at gmail.com. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to us, guys. We'll see you guys next time. And uh, this was a very fun interview. Hopefully, we'll be doing this again, Rich. All right, my friend. All right. Have a good one, guys. Hopefully, a green week next week. All right.